Okay, so finally, I just want to go through a couple of features that, uh, that will show you why Scrivener is such a powerful tool for blogging and for complicated writing projects. The first is Scrivener's powerful search. So let's say I have lots of different book chapters and blog posts, and I want to find a term. I can just type a term like productivity into Scrivener. And Scrivener will present every file that references the term productivity um, and highlight it for me. Um, so this, is, this means Rather than searching through dozens of Word files, you can do it all from within your Scrivener project. <clears throat> the second powerful feature that Scrivener has is it auto saves your work every two seconds. So I've actually never lost a piece of writing with Scrivener. Um, and this makes it simple uh, to write because you don't have to worry that you haven't saved your work or it's going to crash. Um, and Scrivener really is quite stable. The third thing that Scrivener has is a powerful snapshot tool. So what you can do is you can take a snapshot of your entire project. Um, and then go ahead and make changes uh, and then decide to revert to that snapshot at some future point. So this is great if you're doing lots of heavy editing or heavy rewriting on let's say a book or multiple posts uh, at once. The third thing that Scrivener, uh, why Scrivener is so great is you can customize almost everything about it. So these are custom folders that I created. Um, I can change the icon by right clicking on them and selecting one of the many icons that come with Scrivener. I can also custom all that by all the colors. Um, I can change almost everything on the menu. Um, as you can see, there's lots of different features that I haven't even covered because Scrivener is so powerful. Um, and you can drag and drop uh, any of these into your menu or you can remove them. Um, another uh, great feature uh, about Scrivener uh, is its ability um, to handle uh, other types of writing projects. So previously I used Scrivener to write a 20,000 word academic work. Um, and as you can imagine, I had to do lots of referencing when I was writing that work. Um, so if I select some text and press Command Shift, or excuse me, Command Shift and Eight, or Control Shift and Eight on a Windows, I can add comments. Um, and this is useful if you uh, want to review work later on, because all you have to do is go out, back up the file, click on it, and you can view all your comments here. That's a whistle-stop tour of how I use Scrivener for blogging um, and how you can do the same. Uh, and if you visit Become a Writer Today forward slash Scrivener, um, you can find a lengthy blog post that goes through uh, each of the various steps that I have described in this video. Um, and finally, uh, onto the free giveaway that I talked about at the start of the video. If you visit that blog post and you click on the large red button, uh, you can't miss it. I'll send you a blank version of this exact template that you can use um, and this template will help you use Scrivener for blogging. So it will contain an archive, this month's posts, um, a section for your blogging journal, a section for, for marketing and social media, and everything you need to get started with using Scrivener for your blog. So please do uh, drop by the post, um, ask me any questions you have about this video, or, or if you find any of this useful, please share it with anyone you think will find or benefit from this post.